here we are sitting in the volume.com studio and on volume.com it is casey filling in for lieutenant dan and you know i'm not usually in here at two o'clock it's a little different so i need some help i, I brought my muscle with me is what i did <laughs> we got shaky graves here in the volume.com studio hello hello how are you i'm doing great how are you doing good man so you got a you got a show today right i do tonight yeah, yeah. Sh shaky graves with raylan baxter at the ryman correct that just feels good yeah it you does know? I, I heard that was happening like that's like a hand in a glove situation there. Yeah, it, it feels like a setup, but almost too good to be true. Too so good what's going to be, gonna happen here? This is like an elaborate prank show, maybe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's actually just a big like escape room setup of some sort. Do, do you have? Are there people in Nashville who want to settle scores with you? Because you might want to start thinking that. I way. mean, if if, the, <laughs> if if there are, I'm sure that they'll come tonight. Oh, Tonight's cool. the night. Well, yeah. there we go, man. I am I am worried for a whole different angle now. You know, <laughs> musical Fight Club at the there, Ryman tonight. There you right. go. Well, if you're gonna have a musical Fight Club, that means you got music. Do you want to play us something? I would love to play you something. What you got? Let's uh, to really rev up the Fight Club spirit. Let's play a nice acoustic <laughs> tune. What do you say? Let's go. Let's go. It. Okay, this is a song called Ready or Not. It's about Fight Clubs. Ready or not yeah, Here comes the weekend Hanging around and talking a lot Yeah, I don't need a reason To tell myself I'll be alright Let's hope that it's true Well, I'm already out for the night Why not make it too? Yeah, ready or not comes the wedding Will you wear the white and I'll say why not What are we forgetting To tell ourselves we'll be alright Let's hope that it's true You're already one of the kind Why not make it two So ready or not yeah, Here comes the funeral You were the black and I'll pick the plot It's all so unusual Saying we'll all be alright when you know it ain't true It's always a matter of time, what else can we do? Well, I'm already telling a lie, why not make it too? Shaky Graves live here on Lighting 100 in the Volume.com studio. Before show tonight over at the Ryman, Shaky Graves and Raylan Baxter. Uh, ready or not, we've actually played that song uh, a bunch here on the radio station. Sierra Farrell is on the record version. She correct? is on the record version. How good is Sierra Farrell? Oh boy, she. I think I think Nashville knows. Yeah, yeah I think uh, you guys are on to it. I think I think Nashville got real hip real quick. To yeah. Sierra Farrell. Well, it's hard not to. Yeah. If yeah. you if you watch her open her mouth and just radio quality sound comes out, <laughs> right. you're like, what is going? <laughs> going on. What's, go. what's happening here? Man. And that, that one is from the, the movie of the week album. Mm -hmm. And you put that one out in September. Correct. And it's really, really good. And when I was getting ready for our visit, I, I kind of started checking some things out. And there's like a whole thing around this movie of the week <laughs> record, man. It, it, it's a whole thing, yeah. Tell, tell us a little about this thing around the record. <laughs> <laughs> right. Describe the thing. Okay, uh, so, um, well, the way that me and the band that uh, uh, put it together... Um, it kind of started as a soundtrack that I was working on during lockdown for mm -hmm. a friend of mine's movie. And I was doing a score and made a bunch of, kind of went above and beyond, went, went beyond the Call of Duty that he asked about. And so I, I, I really uh, made a ton of stuff. And then at the end, the director was like, yeah, I don't think <laughs> this, we're not going to use all this. And I was like, okay, well, I got to turn it into something. Yeah. So basically we took these themes and then kind of just um, 
treated it like doing a movie score. So we would yeah. be like, oh, okay, if this is a you know like that song, for instance, ready or not, we'd be like, oh, let's play the like sad refrain version of it, or let's play yeah. the like exciting. So we would do like different themes of it. So we we recorded a lot of these songs with multiple versions, and then it made the task impossible to pick what's going to go on the record so right. we made a lot of trouble for ourselves <laughs> but then eventually i would show people these things and and one of my friends was like why don't you just put all the songs out and i was like put all the songs no way that's put all the songs out. and then i started to try and think about how could i feasibly do this so basically i worked with a web team where we set up this thing that you can go onto my website and go to shakygraves.com slash movie of the week and you can type in it asks for a genre but you can put in whatever well, you could put in Lightning 100 or your name yeah. or a Hot Dog or whatever you want. And then basically it scrambles these, there's like a hundred tracks in there and it scrambles them and just kind of generates albums. And then the, to go with the theme of the, the, the album itself, um, it's, it's you know, produced basically as a film and a movie soundtrack. So it generates movie soundtracks and it gives you a little synopsis of your... Oh, and and as of today, did you do one? <laughs> I am very excited to see a new horror movie coming out called Zero Billionaire. Yeah, great. And I didn't I didn't make notes about the synopsis, but I'm going to tell you, it sounds like something I would dig. Wow. Soundtrack looks fantastic Thank too. You. So. Thank you. Yeah. So it's really fun. It's like I ended up. It was a ton of work. So I, I really would love for people to check it out. And it's really fun. And like, if you like that, you can download that. You can yeah. pay five bucks and it will send you those tracks. It's really cool. And give, give the website again so people it's can check this out. www.shakygreats.com backslash movie of the week. There you go. And the, of course, the show coming up tonight at the Ryman with Shaky Graves Correct. and Raylan Baxter. Correct. And you, you mentioned, did you do sort of a, a big just mass recording project for a lot of this stuff? A lot of what's become the album? Yeah, well, it, uh, so that was kind of the thing. We, when we went in the studio, we were like, okay, in, instead of working on individual songs, we just ran tape essentially for like 10 hours. You know, like the, the old jazz way. Kind like of. the old jazz there way. You go. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, it, <laughs> with slightly <laughs> different results. Right. But we were working at a, at a, a fabulous studio that is, uh, belongs to my um, drummer, Matt Pence. Okay. And it's out in Denton, Texas called Echo Lab. And, uh, Denton, Texas, home of the Von Erich family. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. The fabulous Von Erich. Right. Exactly. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so we just set up like 25 microphones. We had a drum kit in a, like sealed in a studio and then one out in the main room. And the idea was just that there was kind of no rules. Like at, at any point, you know, we'd go outside to like smoke a cigarette or take, yeah. a, take get some air and then come back in and just rearrange. Someone would sit at a piano, someone would sit at the bass, blah, blah, blah. And so there were kind of no rules with that. And then I had to go back and do the insane task of, you know, we did this, we did week long sessions three times. So that's. Okay. I, 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 I've done the math. I think it was 260 million hours of recording. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, and then I, got, I had to go through them sort of like editing footage, honestly, and make big notes and be like, okay, that's us working on Ready or... Oh, nope, there it is. Like, caught one. And then I'm like, oh, how many, how many of these do we do? And so, that, you know, that's where this big wealth of music came from, was yeah. these massive sliced up sessions. And I've done about half of it. There's still a whole... Well, and that's the thing. I mean, and you've put together this great album. And, and Movie of the Week is a fantastic record. I mean, people really should check this one out. Of course, you know, live tonight at the Ryman, too. But I, I would imagine when you've recorded that much stuff, like, there could be another album or a, another... It could be a series of movies of the week or that kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to think of... We came up with an idea that would be pretty fun is to try and do, um, like, a short film festival. Because yeah. it's basically these... When you when you do this, it gives you a little synopsis. You've and got then, everything but the film. But the film, yeah. right. So if you do that... Because I, I would love... The, the whole idea is that somebody is going to generate an album that's better than I could have ever thought of piecing all <laughs> right, this stuff together. Right. You know, like you think about it a million ways, but someone like Zero Billionaire, it's great. Yeah. Whatever the cover was, I'm sure it was cool. It was very cool. It was uh, it was uh, a guy and a girl, and they were standing. It was um, they were like in a garden, but it wasn't. It was like a weird looking garden. Nice. That's, that's the. I, yeah. I should have saved all this stuff and brought it down with me. But yeah, it was it was cool. I was into it. Well, that's the that's the fun part. Is like if you refresh it, it all disappears. You know, it goes the way of the. Yeah. Buffalo, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Because sure. it goes, the it goes way back the, to dust. It's the, all dust in the wind. So. Three legged buffalo nickel <laughs> facing the wrong way. Exactly. I know those are rare. Yeah, exactly. So there you go. Oh, man. Shaky Graves here on Lightning 100. And when you went in the studio, did you kind of switch up your band a little? Did you, when you did all 
all this, were you also doing it with some new people? In I was list? definitely doing it with new people. Are you mad at yourself? Uh, I, <laughs> it sounds like you've made this as difficult as you possibly could. Well, and don't get me wrong, I respect it. I mean, look, music is serious business. It's yes. not fun at all. You got to go in there. You got to put your head down. You got to hit people. You that's know what right. I mean? It's that's our, right. <laughs> that's the whole. That's why. That's why we got in this bloody business that's in the right. first place. You got to keep your head down. Got to have that killer instinct. Well, it it really was kind of the. It was the silver lining of of COVID for me because we were all trapped in and you know I had time to because I've been relentlessly touring for a long time and I'm really grateful for that but to have some time to like really kick it at home yeah. and step back and look at stuff and it also meant for better or for worse that a lot of these musicians that I didn't get to work with because they're in other touring bands being crazy people all the time that they had a little bit of free time too so I did the <laughs> like Avengers Assemble phone call uh -huh. And yeah, it was a little bit of a crazy, it was even harder to pitch this whole thing to my record label later where I was like, okay, so we recorded 120 albums and we're going to release all of them, but individually, it'll be pay what you want, but not. And then they were like, oh, okay. okay. And, then you, and then you're just hearing a bunch of like really startled crickets. Yeah, it was of like thing. one yeah. of those terrifying like four person Zoom calls where you could just see, see the look. They're like, so you have, do you have an album? I'm like, I got 20. And they're like, okay, well, that doesn't help us at all. I'm like, uh, great. So, but yeah, we put together this lovely band that's the biggest band that I've had so far. It's six of us. The the problem? The pro We started yeah. calling ourselves the problem. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, because it's it, it also goes back to like, you know, I started doing this as like a solo four track mm -hmm. thing and then have gone into one man band stuff and I've been, a pa I've had a power trio and I've had a whatever and inevitably I'll have someone be like, boy, I really like it when you just play yeah. acoustic and whatever. And I'm like, yeah, me too. But there's other rocks to turn over and I'm right. not going to be comfortable unless I get to check stuff out. There you go. But it was kind of like, I was like, oh, the band is the problem and we are the problem and the solution. There you <laughs> go. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, yeah. And a bunch of minds just blew all Ex at once. Exactly, right there. exactly. I, I see, and, I, and I'm talking about like with your approach and how you're doing awesome recording this stuff and I saw, and I actually made a note, you, you mentioned that you, uh, you went for a Terrence Malick on some of this with the I amount did. of coverage and the amount of... I did, I did, yeah. And uh, my friend, I believe you did. <laughs> I did. I did. We landed the plane with, with very few casualties, but uh, <laughs> but it's great. Yeah, we, I mean, we lovingly call the, the the album that's in stores and on Spotify or whatever yeah. on the radio. Is like that, that That's our director's cut. Uh, there you go. The director's cut. <laughs> Just to really drive it on home, you know what I mean? So there's nice. a, yeah. Right on. We've got Shaky Graves here in the Volume.com studio. The movie of the week, El P. You can get it all your favorite uh, music getting places. That's I would right. imagine you could probably get one tonight at the Ryman if they're going to go to the show with Shaky Grove, uh, Shaky Graves, and Raylan Baxter. Right? That's right. Trying to say a lot of stuff at once here. You did good. Thank you very much. You want to go ahead and give us another song? Let's do it. All right. What do you got? Right. This is a, uh, a C side on the D side on the album. This is a song called Was Here. <laughs> Did you hear the news? Your dreams ain't coming true He can't really fly, he's hanging from a wire Oh, what was me? No one even noticed he was passing around the hat And preaching to the choir Don't know a thing, this man is just a liar. Looks like the votes are in, and nothing really matters when they're passing around the hat and preaching to the choir. Set the place on fire Stick to the 
tried and true You'll be okay as long as you Keep passing around the hat And preaching to the choir Shaky Graves here live on Lighting 100 in the Volume.com studio and on Volume.com. And of a show tonight, Shaky Graves with Raylan Baxter going to be happening over at the Ryman. The movie of the week LP, it is available right now. And if people want to get the tour dates and the merch and maybe get a copy of uh, Movie of the Week on that beautiful blue and white vinyl, where can we find you, sir? Uh, well, you can go to www.shakygraves.com for all of your uh, Shaky Graves needs. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. I like it. All yeah. right, man. We'll break a leg this evening and save travels to you. And we'll, we'll see you back in here soon enough, I'm Thank sure. Thank you, brother.